Hey, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Hey, we're here today to talk to you a little about the wonderful sweet potato. Some of you knew that we planted these gardens uh, less than six months ago. We built these rock walls, backfilled it with some great compost, and it planted these wonderful sweet potatoes in here. And they're doing an excellent job. I want to tell you why growing sweet potatoes is so important. They're a great source of food. So sweet potatoes are rich in an antioxidant called beta carotene. It's very effective at raising blood levels of vitamin A, particularly in children. So sweet potatoes are nutritious, high in fiber, very filling and they're delicious. They can be eaten boiled, baked, steamed, fried, a number of ways. So sweet potatoes are usually orange, but they're also found in other colors. Here in Ecuador, we have them that are purple and white, which are called comote here in Spanish. But they also have uh, white flesh, red, pink, violet, yellow, and purple. Some of you have seen the Japanese potatoes that are so popular. So in some parts of North America, they call uh, sweet potatoes yams, but that's actually not true. Yams are a little bit different product. So sweet potatoes, um, three and a half ounces or 100 grams, are uh, about 86 calories, 77% water, protein at 1.6 grams, carbs are 20.1 grams, sugar is 4.2 grams, fiber is 3 grams, fat is 1 gram. So sweet potatoes have a medium to high glycemic index, the G, what we might refer to as the GI. So it's varying from 44 to 96 depending on the variety. Um, and it's a measurement of how high, how fast your blood sugar levels rise after a meal. So given the relatively high GI of sweet potatoes, large amounts in a single meal may be unsuitable for people with type 2 diabetes, but uh, boiling seems to be associated with a lower GI ratings. Baking, frying, or roasting, um, you know, are also good, but it may cause a little bit higher GI rating. So vitamins and minerals. Sweet potatoes are an excellent source of the beta carotene, as I said, vitamin C and potassium, and the most abundant vitamins and minerals. Sweet potatoes are rich in beta carotene, uh, which your body can convert into vitamin A, just three and a half ounces per 100 grams of, of this vegetable provide the recommended daily amount of this vitamin. Vitamin C, potassium, manganese, vitamin B6, vitamin B5, vitamin E, and these are just a few of the wonderful benefits of sweet potatoes. It's a great um, survival food and uh, it's great for your normal weekly diet. So I want you to really think about growing some sweet potatoes. They're easy to grow. You, They like sandy soil, they like composted soil, um, something that's a little bit loose and they do take a little bit of uh, fertilizer, a little bit of nitrogen, but they're just a great food source and they just grow and grow unbelievably. And you'll probably always have sweet potatoes in that area because they're hard to get all the roots out. It is known as a tuber or a root crop um, and they're just so easy to plant. I've gone through ways of planting these before in, in, in other videos, but uh, I hope you'll consider growing some sweet potatoes and grow them soon. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate so much you folks watching our videos. Have a great day. Bye now.